Hey, my recruiter. Hello? Congrats, Stevens. You got selected for security forces. Hello, darkness, my old friend. What's up, everybody? It's Honey Badger here, uh, also known as A1C Stevens in the Air Force world. Uh, I don't really feel like playing video games right now, so I figured, you know, what better to do than make a YouTube video? So, I'm gonna make a YouTube video about how to prep for Air Force basic training. So what you do now is you're gonna go to your Air Force recruiter, you're gonna go talk with him or her, and uh, you guys are gonna get to know each other better. And she might take you. She you might take a little practice test there, uh, just to see that like where you probably score on the ASVAB. If you haven't taken the ASVAB already, uh, you're gonna fill out some paperwork, um, and then she's probably gonna send you to MEPS within like the next couple weeks. MEPS is uh, the military entrance processing station. Uh, here you're gonna show up at like 5 a.m. super early. You're gonna be there all day standing in line and going to talk to different people, filling out paperwork, getting your fingerprints done, etc, etc. This is also where you're going to take your ASVAB test and see what you score on that. And then you're going to see uh, the doctor. You're going to do the duck walk, you're going to take hearing tests, you're going to take blood tests, you're going to take sight tests, they're going to test you on everything. Um, this is also where you will fill out your dream sheet. Uh, for me, my dream sheet was like the the top like seven positions were all flight school or uh, flight crew related. That's what I wanted. I wanted to fly. Uh, and then I was like, you know, just in case like I don't get selected for any of these, um, I'll do security forces. So now that you got the nightmare of MEPS knocked out of the way, you're now in the delayed entry program, also known as the DEP program. Uh, this is where you're going to wait till you get a call from your recruiter saying, that, hey, congratulations, you got this job. Hey, my recruiter! Hello? Congrats, Stevens. You got selected for security forces. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm just kidding. I actually wanted security forces. And honestly, uh, so far, I'm about to finish up tech school, and I actually enjoy it. So now that you got your job, you are also going to get the date that you leave for basic training. And from here in that time, you need to start prepping. Actually, you should have already started prepping with like the PT and stuff like that, but I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, you need to work with your recruiter and make sure all your paperwork is correct. So your contract, make sure you're getting the proper rank, et cetera, et cetera. Also, make sure you got your important paperwork in, like your if you your high school transcripts. Maybe if you did four years of uh, our JROTC, make sure you got that, uh, that certificate in there. If you have college, make sure you get your college transcripts in. If you have any kind of medical records, uh, make sure those get entered in as well. Now, PT is important. Uh, you're going to do a lot of PT and BMT. Every day, you're going to do PT. For me, my ship out date, when I got it, was like three months away. So I had lots of time for, to prep. You need to start running. Uh, I would run every day, if not every other day. And I would run for at least 30 minutes. I wouldn't worry about distance because distance will come with time. I would just get the cardio down and being able to have a steady pace, uh, you know, to be able to run 20 to 30 minutes. Because you're going to do 26 minute runs on your run days in BMT. And they're going to yell at you if you walk at all. Now, in addition to running, you have to work on your push ups and your sit ups. The bare minimums to graduate basic training is to finish with. Uh, a mile and a half in 11 minutes and 57 seconds or under. And you have to be able to do 45 push-ups in a minute without failure. And you have to be able to do uh, 50 sit-ups without failure in one minute. If you're able to run 20 minutes straight without taking like a walk break or whatever, you'll make that time. For the push-ups and sit-ups, I would honestly do it either every day or every other day and I would push myself until I could not do any more. And I would just, you know, keep doing that. Because every day you do that, you're gonna be able to do a little more. The next day, you're gonna be able to do a little more, and so on and so on and so on. When I say I had three months to prep before BMT, I did not use that wisely. Uh, I was struggling when I first got to BMT with the runs, the push-ups, the sit-ups, etc. cetera. Um, there's gonna be three PT tests, and the passing scores for each of them get harder and harder um, the, the further they go. I ended up graduating with 
uh, I did my mile and a half in like 11 minutes, like just over 11 minutes. Uh, my push-ups, I had 72, and my sit-ups, I had 65. So I graduated like a 95% on my PT test. Anything over a 90%, you only have to PT in the Air Force once a year. If you don't make the 90 percentile, you have to do it twice a year. So make sure you keep up with your PT, that way you can get that 90 percentile and then you don't have to worry about taking another test for another year. Unless you're security forces, because they're gonna PT test you as soon as you get here. So now that we got PT taken out of the way, let's focus more on facial hair as well as the hair on top of our heads. Uh, f this is for males, females, I don't know your regulations, to, um, so I can't really help you there. Males, you're gonna get three haircuts over the course of BMT. Uh, in fact, like day two or three you get there, you're probably gonna get a haircut and it's gonna be buzzed. It's gonna be buzzed all the way around. And in fact, I had a, I had a, a, a buddy in my flight, he had dreadlocks and like, I mean, they were down to here and oh man, watching those come off was yikes. So honestly, it really doesn't matter what your hair looks like when you get the BMT. It's all coming off. Uh, now, facial hair, same thing. Unfortunately, you cannot have a mustache in BMT. Um, I had a mustache before BMT and I had to shave it. Broke my heart. So no mustaches, no beards, no beard and even operational Air Force unless you have a shaving waiver. Uh, which you can get those in BMT if you get like the bumps and stuff. You just gotta go to Reed, get that straightened out and you'll get a waiver, a shaving waiver. And uh, so no facial hair, no mustache, no beard. And your hair on your head doesn't really matter because it's all coming off anyways. So your face is all shaved up now, your hair is trimmed if you trimmed it, uh, your PT is knocked out of the way, let's go ahead and focus on what to actually pack for BMT now. You're going to want to bring at least three pairs of civilian clothes, whether it be pants, shorts, uh, long sleeve shirt, short sleeve shirt, uh, depending on what temperature it's going to be in Texas uh, around that you know time of year. Uh, the shirts can't have any logos on them. If you have to, if it's got a logo, it's got to be real small. Um, it can't have like designs and patterns all over it. It's got to be just a basic, you know, plain t-shirt with minimal like detail on it. Uh, your pants and your shorts can't have holes or rips, tears. They, they've got to look nice. For your shoes, I would bring one pair of running shoes. You're going to get the running shoes when you get to BMT. They'll give them to you. But I would have something, uh, you know, just to wear comfortably to walk around in. Don't bring heels. Uh, don't bring like your expensive Jordans and shit like that. I mean, some people do, but you can. I would honestly bring just a cheap pair of running shoes. Now those clothes, you'll probably wear for like the first three days. Once the Air Force gives you your ABUs and your blues and stuff like that, that's all you're gonna be wearing. Even for graduation and stuff like that. Uh, whenever you, you probably won't be able to wear civilian clothes until you get to tech school and until you phase up in tech school to actually be able to earn the rights to wearing your, uh, your civilian clothes again. So the Air Force will also give you like underwear, socks, two pairs of boots, uh, shower shoes, uh, et cetera, et cetera. They're going to give you everything that you need. Now, you're also going to want to bring a small toiletry bag with like your shampoo, your hair products soap, shaving cream, your razors, uh, a brush, sanitary items, stuff like that. Other important stuff that you're gonna wanna bring would be something with like your bank information on there where you got like your account number, your routing number. So just in case there's any kind of like banking issues, like getting paid and stuff like that, you have that information for, you know, on, on access to give to the Air Force or whoever you're working with. Uh, you're also gonna bring your social security card, your birth certificate, your, your contract, any college like transcripts that you have, your high school transcripts, any kind of certificates that you have. Also bring your driver's license um, and uh, like a list of important contact information. All that you want to bring with you. You're also going to want to bring your debit card and you're also going to want to bring some cash, something to, you know, just in case you have any kind of issues getting paid that you have something, you know, to hold you over. Uh, you're also going to bring your cell phone and your cell phone charger. Now during BMT, you will not be able to have your cell phone on you. Uh, it's actually going to be taken from you 
and depending on how good your team is you might get a phone call here and there to call home for like 15 minutes 10 minutes or something like that uh, now things not to bring you can't bring cigarettes or tobacco or any kind of products don't bring your vapes you can't have it it's going to be taken from you um don't bring over the counter uh over the counter medication uh don't bring expensive jewelry food candy etc etc no magazines if you wear smart watches and stuff like that, don't bring those either. You can't have them. You can have uh, like the digital watch or you know something basic like that. Uh, you can't have any aerosol products. Uh, no items containing alcohol. So if you have like uh, a bottle of mouthwash or something like that, it's a no-go. You can't have it. You also can't have electronic razors either. It's got to be the old school. It doesn't matter how many blades it is. You, if you don't have any or you don't have enough, you will get the opportunity to buy more when you get to BMT. So that about concludes my video on prepping for BMT. If you have any questions or anything like that, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. I have no problem answering those. Also check out uh, my next video that I'm going to work on, which is my experience in going through BMT. Don't forget to drop a, 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 sub, a sub on YouTube. Check out my Twitch channel. I play whenever I can when I'm at tech school. Um, until then, I guess I'll catch you guys next time.